time, President George Polynomial was eating a rare steak. Suddenly, he fell to the floor, choking and clutching his throat. The butler passed by and found him lying on the floor unconscious. He drove him to the hospital. The doctor diagnosed President Polynomial with E. coli, a severe type of food poisoning. The doctor also finds out that the president has 960 bacteria. He reads online that the E. coli in a rich medium like the steak will increase at a rate of 50% for three hours. But when the number reaches 4,860, the E. coli will become deadly. The doctor asks a mathematician how many hours does it take for 960 bacteria to increase to 4,860 bacteria. And the search begins. This is a graph of the rate at which the bacteria increases. This is our chart. Every three hours, the number from before increases at a rate of 50%. In the beginning, or zero hours, there were 960 bacteria. After three hours, we divide 960 by 2, which is 480. Then we add 480 to 960. The result is 1,440. After six hours, we divided 1,440 by 2, which is 720. Then we add 720 to 1,440. The result is 2,160. After nine hours, we divide 2,160 by two, which is 1,080. Then we add 1,080 to 2,160. The result is 3,240. After 12 hours, we divide 3,240 by two, which is 1,620. Then we add 1,620 to 3,240. The result is 4,860. Our goal was to find out how long it would take for 960 bacteria to increase into 4,860 bacteria. We have reached our goal. The answer is 12 hours. The doctor thanked the mathematician and hurried back to his lab. In three hours, the genius doctor found an antidote for E. coli and used it to develop a vaccine. President Polynomial was cured. As a reward, the president appointed the doctor as his personal doctor. The doctor also received the National Medal of Science for his breakthrough in bacteria.